Okay, so right here we have our image. Let's work on our frequency separation for this. For that, this is will be just two layers for now. We'll go take our background and we duplicate it just by dragging and drop to our layers. So we have two copies. I'm going one and rename to low. So this is will be for our low frequency, which is changed not as often. And we'll go this one and say high. So this is will be our high frequency. So right here we have two images. Let's go first modify on low frequency. And we'll look closer. So I don't want to do this. Okay, we go look closer right here. And we can see we have some of the sprinkles. It's what I want separated from overall um, look of our image from the general shape. So we can do this with the blur and we'll go to filter blur and instead the Gaussian blur we will use a surface blur. The surface blur also work very well by determining where that the shape is and or where the contrast happen. So example we'll go right here to the eye. Let's go to the maybe eyelashes and you can see how it's work with separating some of the small details. So in this case I'm looking on the skin wrinkles. But I want to have a general shape, so I want to leave it to those general shape. In this case, I'm just work with the radius and threshold. So we'll go radius maybe about 18, maybe pop up a little bit higher to 27. So it's you can look on the skin, it's look a little bit smaller, so we remove all those small wrinkles. And we want to keep a threshold just slightly below our um, main level. So our radius and threshold just leave it below our pixel size. Right here. Mostly what I'm interested in is just the skin. And you can see we remove all of this, you know, small wrinkles. General shapes still be there. And again, if you want to create a little bit bigger, you can always increase the radius and remove even larger size. Okay, when we satisfy with the result, let's go click. Okay. okay at this point, we created our image. So we created the um, low frequency. Now let's go and extract or separate from our other layer. And right here we have a high frequency, which is still original. We have it. All what we're going to do, it says, hey, um, from the high level, remove all information from that we have it in lower level. So all what we have left is just those wrinkles. So to do this, we'll go select the high level go to image adjustment actually uh, let's go to apply image sorry and in apply image we want to select our search so we select the channel low frequency from what we want to do it okay we want to do two functions add or subtract and that is based on what type of image you have if you have an 8 bit you want subtract if you have a 16 bit you want to add and help me to remember this. I always says poor get poorer and rich get richer. So if you're 16 bit, you eat richer, you add more to this. And 8 bit is poorer, so let's subtract. For purpose of tutorials, we're using 8 bit. So we'll go to with subtract in this case. Okay, and we need to switch some scale and offset. So because it's 256 colors, we go to offset, let's say scale 2 and offset 128. As we do this right here, you can see we have our information to start bringing in and it's what we want. This is our um, layer. So let's go ahead, click OK for this. And if we did a 16 bit, we actually our settings will be two and zero. So now we won't have it offset. So when we start with this, now we are ready to retouch in a high frequency. So for this first, We'll disable high level and let's go level, low level. We'll go to create new layer and we'll go to link them or parenting those layers. And I like to retouching on the separate layers. So this way we can go inside and rework. And normally we can look on this image. Like for example, this freckles, you can see how they stand up. We can retouch there. We touch some other areas. Maybe remove them some hair from here. 
So we'll do this, we'll go actually use it the brush and we'll use it the mix brush tool. The mix brush tool, it's something between brush and smudge, so it will help us to create nice smooth effect. And I want to switch my settings to a little bit more middle. So we have it to load 50, remove down to 41. So I'm just going and take everything kind of middle health. Okay, let's go ahead. Also sample all layers enable for this. Okay, we'll go inside and we'll select the softer tool for us, softer brush. And uh, you just use it Alt key, press down or options and we can select colors. For example, let's go back to this shoulder. Right here I can select this color. Okay, and you can see right here we're sampling and we'll just kind of painting over. Okay, so we'll select and a very smooth painting over. So right here you can see we're actually not destroying anything, it'll still be there. We're just painting in specific layers. So same if right here something does not look good. We can select, we can paint kind of very nicely. And because this is all cover set is smudge and kind of additional tool, so it will give it very nice this effect with keeping all shapes and everything. Okay, and maybe you know, just retouching a little bit right here. We can remove it. Again, nice things we work with the general kind of retouching, so we don't touching skin textures and you'll notice in a second how it will look better okay let's see it right there we'll go smudging too much colors okay in some case maybe we want to go and reduce a little bit even more make it softer but overall this is idea so we go around we find some areas that is does not necessarily look nice just smooth it out a little bit then okay right there overall let's look okay so after this we'll go ahead and work on a high level and uh, we will switch some blend mode but for now what I want to do is look on some of the wrinkles and to make an easy look so I want to um, bring them a little bit more out so we'll go create curve layer switch to overlay and again this is just uh, purely for our own so we can see easy we'll set this way and you can see how much easier they pop up now so let's go ahead same on high frequency we'll go create new layer okay, let's go to retouch okay and we're gonna go to link that mask or lock to the our high frequency so whatever we apply it it will kind of stick to area for high frequency so right here at this point if you remember before we was soft brush and it's what you want for the low you want to use it soft brush very small the kind of effect for other ones we want to use the hard so when we use the stamp tool we want to use the hard edge and we want to be sure it's 100 percent so we want to do hard hard for the hour area also notice right here i have it current and below so we can go to disable this one just only work on a high frequency and again because below we will ignore our adjustment layer so also we work right here you'll notice we have some blemishes a little bit more pop up in the skin we can just go click around and kind of remove those areas okay and you can see the little bit more sometimes in the high frequency we can work with a little bit more if it work need be done okay same like right here Okay, just adjustment in some areas. 
again and we can go over more and more areas to try try find some Here you go. Maybe in some case we need to make smaller. Again, you use your Alt or Option key to sample areas. Okay, and put it around there. So we will zoom out a little bit. Okay, right here a little bit more. Okay, right there a little bit more. So kind of you can see we can go with skin and it's have it a little bit um the high frequency have it maybe a little bit more details. We need to kind of fix it. Okay, let's go adjust this end. Same, we have a little bit in this area. Okay, I won't go too much in this because, how say, we can spend more time to adjustment these areas, a little bit more in details. But overall, principle we go to now just skin itself without other, and applying. Okay, so after we're done, we kind of want to bring them together and look how what's going on there. So all what we need to do, let's go to re-enable our lower, we'll take our curve adjustments, we don't need it anymore, we can actually go and remove this, and we'll need to switch high frequency to linear light. Okay, and right here, if we look closer, we can see before and after. Okay, the arm, same before and after, and you can see we preserve skin texture very well. Okay, so before, oops, let's go right here, before and after. So you can see how we preserve skin texture look exactly the same around her eyes. We just remove some of those details that we not necessarily like them at all. Adjustment. So this way, it's kind of help you to create your image and remove some of those imperfections with a fine-tuned precision. And the interesting things about high frequency that if we're using healing brush or other ones, they are using same techniques on a back end, so the same separating, but they're only they selecting from um, areas that Photoshop think that matching. You have it much more flexibility if you creating this by yourself. And um, of course, we will going in the hands on project when we start working on our preparation model for the compositing. So we'll get a little bit more even familiar with these techniques as we're using over and over again.